Hi, it's Jill here with Mommy Vignettes, and I'm sure a lot of you have been wondering where I have been. Um, it's been, I think, a couple weeks since my last pregnancy vlog, and with that vlog I did a link to my blog, mommyvignettes.blogspot.com, where we did our big nursery reveal. So if you haven't seen that, make sure that you check out our nursery reveal on our blog. I'll link it down below so that you guys see that. Um, and I had a great response to that um, blog post, so it was really fun to share our ideas and the things that we've been working on in our nursery for so long now. So I appreciate all the feedback um, that you guys have given me. So I have not delivered yet, so this is uh, this will be my last pregnancy vlog. Um, I'm pretty sure um, that we'll have the baby um, in a week or within the next week. So um, I'll show you my belly in just a minute, but this is our 38-week vlog pregnancy update um, and it's kind of weird going this far with this pregnancy because with my daughter we had a uh, already a week old baby by now she was born three weeks and two days early so um, so it's weird that we've gone over but it's great because we are not as worried about having such a small baby or any health issues that we were worried about with last time so um, so I'm 38 weeks pregnant um, well I will be tomorrow. So I'm 37 and 6 today. Anyways, had an appointment. Things are going well. I'm not having any contractions, which I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, so no contractions, but everything's going great. I am dilated to almost 4 centimeters, so that's great news as well. Made me very excited. And um, Baby's doing great. Heartbeat's great. She's measuring just fine. So we will for sure have a bigger baby this time than we did last. Our daughter um, born almost three years ago was just five pounds three and a half ounces so we're excited to have a little bit of a bigger baby this time but I'm hoping not too much over like seven pounds so um, my husband and I are both small and um, I want to don't want my pelvis to blow out so <laughs> um, anyway so and as you guys know or may not have known uh, I've been a labor and delivery nurse for about eight years so um, so it's exciting to be on this side of things and to be having um, our own baby and be the patient instead of the nurse and, and being able to experience that part of, of delivery and, and laboring. So um, so we're excited. So we're hoping that we can go into labor on our own within the next week. If not, we will likely be induced at 39 weeks. Um, and there's both risks and benefits to that. And I've seen thousands of inductions. So we'll decide for sure next week what we want to do. Um, but I think we'd have a successful induction if we decided to go that route. So what I'm hoping I just go into labor on my own. We have um, a storm here where I live. A lot of times a storm will throw women into labor with the drop in the bariatric pressure. So I'm hoping that that um, can happen for us. So anyways, um, I will give you an update here, show you my belly. And I'm definitely bigger with um, this pregnancy. So, so I'm just ignore my messy bathroom again this is our kind of our guest bathroom slash daughter's bathroom so all of her stuff gets put all over the counter so um so here's the belly at 38 weeks um feeling good she is moving a ton she causes me so much pain every single night which is great i love feeling her move so much um but it is kind of painful so I wish it were contractions instead of her just moving she does this thing where she will pinch and I'll get this um, kind of nerve um, like a charley horse pain in my groin so so she likes to do that which is just fine I don't mind it and I love that she's moving movement is great especially this late in pregnancy they can't move too much so um, that is where we are at and like I said, feeling tons of movement, no contractions yet. Um, feeling pretty big at this point, but I'm fe also feeling great. So I'm just really excited to meet her and really excited to um, have my daughter be a big sister. So we've been talking to her a ton about her becoming a big sister. She's really excited. I'm really excited for that moment when she comes to meet um, her baby sister is going to be really fun and really emotional for us. So, so we're just looking forward to that. Um, if you guys have any questions about how our pregnancy has gone um, or any other questions, um, make sure that you let me know. And again, I'm really excited uh, for this next week. We're going to hopefully have the baby here. 
And um, I'm going to be doing another video here that I'll link either or post today or tomorrow on our hospital bag. Just a little bit of an update with um, our hospital bag this time around. So um, be sure you check that out. Make sure you check my blog. And like I said, I probably won't be doing another pregnancy vlog since we'll have the baby. And if I don't do another video for, you know, a couple weeks or even like a month, it's because we've had the baby and I'm focusing on her and our family. And I remember when we had my daughter, you know, the sleep deprivation was pretty hard. So in this time I have a toddler in addition to a newborn. So, um, so I'm excited to get back with you guys in a few weeks and you can check in with me on my channel. Um, or my blog. I might be posting a few things on my blog. So, um, And also make sure tomorrow um, my nursery is going to be uh, featured on a blog called withheart.com. Um, so I will try to link that. I'll link that from my blog. So if you want to check that out tomorrow, you can. So thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye.